How's it going guys? We have finally got the hype on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, both Global and JP with the part 3 and 4 I guess for JP of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero campaign. If you missed my summoning video make sure to go check that one out because we did manage to pull a copy of, in quotation, Beast Gohan, Ultimate Gohan who has an active ability into Beast Gohan and I was doing some summons, just a couple of YOLO summons last night and this happened. So yes, I did manage to pull a copy of the Ultimate Piccolo, which transforms into Orange Piccolo as well. So I thought, why not? Let's put them on the same team for the same video, see how they do together. And what we're gonna do is jump into one of the hardest events in the game, being the Cell Max event, because we also got some new missions uh, to complete it in five turns and to also complete it with six superhero category uh, characters on your team. And you do get some extra free dragon stones for doing that as well. And there's some other missions and things like that that I'm yet to complete anyway. But I've heard that they're really handy in this event and they really show out. So let's jump into the team. So we're gonna go all in and here is the team that we're jumping in with. We are also bringing Gamma 1 and 2 who, as we know, are very good in this event and really do show out. The Vegeta and Trunks, I'm not sure how they'll do in this because we're not going to use them as slot one. But we can still stack their defense, hopefully, and see how they do in the last stage. And we've got the God Goku, as we know, is a defensive god in this. And we are going to jump in with support memory to get an extra attack and defense, plus 10% for seven turns. But back to the units at hand. I've actually managed to find a Rainbow Piccolo friend as well. So that's pretty incredible. Hopefully I don't lose that as we go through all the sort of things that Piccolo and Gohan do. I do have a different video where I go through quite a lot of all the uh, active abilities and all that sort of stuff as well. Make sure to go check that one out. But we will just go over them very quickly in this video. So we've got Superheroes, Battle of Wits, 170% and then up to 200% for Bond and Master Disciple or Movie Heroes. So everyone on this team is going to be 200% including the trunks and vegeta as well so that's not bad uh piccolo does stack defense infinitely uh, and then raises attack for one turn he does have a chance to stun him but that's probably not going to be relative in here so he does guard all attacks from three turns when um from the start of battle when there's another bond of master and or disciple category ally which the gohan will be uh he gets extra attack and defense he gets damage reduction uh, once again more attack and defense the more hits he receives so a little bit like the lr goku black and zamasu and he can also heal back some health and things like that as well so to actually transform into his giant form being orange piccolo which i've heard is very handy for this because it doesn't count for turns hence why we're going for that five turn thing and also Obviously, he does a lot of damage and things like that as well. Uh, so it can be activated when all allies attacking in the same turn are super hero category characters starting from the third turn so that's not going to be that hard at all in this stage we should be able to get that off pretty easily but if you don't have superheroes then f when facing only one enemy starting from the sixth turn so not the hardest to get off there and gohan's very similar he's just as they like to do with these doken fest lrs and things like that slightly um the opposite should we say so we've got superheroes and hybrid saiyans for his leader skill and then it's Bond of Parent and Child or Movie Heroes to get the full 200%. Then he um, infinitely greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn. So in comparison to the Piccolo, he uh, infinitely stacks attack. And then with his passive then, he does also guard all attacks for three turns when there's another Bond of Parent and Child category ally on um, in the team. 
which we've got a couple of them, so we may be able to get that off as well. Uh, additional attack and defense, as you expect. Additional key per key sphere. Once again, additional attack and defense per each super attack performed, so a little bit like Gamma 2 there, and launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when key is 20 or more. So we want to get as much key as possible, because when he gets 24 key, a bit like Merge Armor 2 as well, he's super effective against all types, and he has a high chance of nullifying key blasts super attacks uh, directed at the character so as you can see on the screen there as well with his active skill it's a bit unfortunate i know a lot of people have not been that happy because they want to actually turn into beast gohan but it's only an active skill where it does damage and things like that very similar to the piccolo when you've got superhero team basically you can do it from the third turn if not, you can do it when facing only one enemy, starting from the sixth turn. And this greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, disables enemies' action once within the turn as well, which is not that bad. And the animation does look great, but like I said, we wanted to play as Beast Gohan, didn't we? But oh well, it is what it is. Let me know down in the comments which LR is your favourite and which one you think is best. Personally, for me, looking at the both of them, I would personally say go for the Piccolo. He edges the Gohan ever so slightly, especially for events like this. But I haven't played with them yet or used them or anything like that. As you saw, they're all level one links and things like that. So we will see throughout this how they are. They're just 55% in this video, level one links. So basically, as you pull them and hit potential them and full SA them, then this is what they'll look like. So. Without further ado, let's jump into it, see how we do, because apparently this makes it a lot easier. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I think this is probably the first video of the new year as well, so happy new year to everyone. Uh, 2023, let's get into it. Obviously, we can jump in with just the sensor beam, because that's all you can do for the Cell Max event. So we've got 640k health, which is quite a lot. Let's switch off auto battle. I'll also make sure that we've got all the animations on as well. Um... Oh, okay, so we've got some entrance animations here. We've got Gohans. Very nice, very nice there. Oh, into Ultimate Gohan. And we've got the Piccolo as well, so they're on the same rotation, which is really good. Hopefully this is the rainbow one. Very nice. It's like watching the film to some extent, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Though you got this on your mobile phone, like. Right then, and we've got that off for seven turns. We're hoping to do it in five, so that should be quite good there. Right, um, okay, I am actually going to, let's just make sure that all the animations are on. Uh, so skip off and skip off. Let's do that. I would want Gohan to have that, but we're going to give it to Piccolo. Um... So we can stack some of that defense and things. Uh, let's do that. He does get an ultra super off as well. And unfortunately, Gamma 1 can't get any hits in there. But we hopefully will get the whole passive off on Piccolo here. So he needs to get hit, what, like five times? 30% up to 150, I think it is. So five times he's been hit three. Okay, special beam cannon. Oof, that must have hurt. Did you see that? <laughs> Okay, um, he's going to take no damage here. And he should be fully built up, which is nice. Gohan gets a super off as well, so he can start building himself up. 5.9 to start off with with Ultimate Gohan. Okay, Super Kamehameha. Nice, and another one. Good, so he's got a double stack there for his passive. Decent, and we've got to see two of the animations. Decent, like I said, the animations that is a big part of Dokkan Battle, isn't it? And they are looking good, right? Gamma 2. Um, we want to keep you somewhat on rotation. Let's do how many links have you got together? Just the one, um, just the one there as well. So, not the best linking here. Let's do this. No, let's do. Yeah, let's just do that. We're not going to get an ultra super off, unfortunately, with you, are we? So we'll do that. Yes, we'll do this. And then this. 
So not the best of rotation there. We wanted both gammas together, really, and everyone else is just to be rotating out. But hopefully we can get the rotation sorted. Um, like I said, aiming to do this in five turns. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Gamma 2 could show out here. We may end up actually losing a turn somewhat on this, unfortunately. So we'll have to do the last one in two turns. Unless Gamma 2 goes absolutely crazy here. And Piccolo at the end can go crazy as well. Uh, I imagine. It's a rainbow friend, so we'll see. Gamma 2 obviously can get up to like five odd supers. Okay, additional normal, another. Additional normal, another. No. But hopefully Piccolo can just finish him off here. Because then we've got Gohan Piccolo on the next rotation as well. And then we should have the two Gammas together, which would be nice. Right, 7.7 .7 mil. Just starting off as well. Remember, he does sack his defense as well, which would be very handy. Nice, okay. Very uh, awkward animation there. We've got a nice KO screen. Okay. Right, so this is... Right, then. Actually, we can go giant form. Um... And we can get Beast off as well. I'm going to do this. Just so we can do that for rotation wise. Let's... Do you know what? Should we go Beast first? And then we'll go into the giant form. Um, he hasn't stacked a lot to be fair. But I just want to see it. <laughs> um, Yeah, let's just do that, just in case Giant Piccolo does finish him off. Let's see it. Like I said, this animation is beautiful. It is actually like watching the film. Oh my days, look at it. Absolutely incredible. Okay, stops an action from him as well. Um, well, you're going to go into giant form, so it doesn't really matter about putting you in the middle, but we'll do it anyway. I've seen a lot less of this one, that animation, to be fair. Does look pretty good, though. And now we are Orange Piccolo as well. Orange Piccolo, here we go. So this should stop the turns as well. Let's do that. And then we're just going to do this and just absolutely dominate, basically. Um, what if I did that? Yeah, no, this, that's definitely the better one, isn't it? Okay. Um, so, Cell Max is probably going to be finished between here and... Do, are we got Orange Piccolo in the next rotation as well? After this? I think he can go up to three turns in this. So, he'd actually be good on a giant form um, category team as well. Right, 3.4 mil attack stat. It's not the best, not the worst. Not doing loads of damage, but it's chip damage to be fair. Right, okay. So we'll stay in Orange Piccolo again, I believe. Nice crit there, okay, and an additional super there. Nice. <laughs> Okay, Cell Max is super in, sure, fine. Just get it over and done with. Yep, Orange Piccolo again. Okay. Um, right, the orb placement's not the best here. Probably because I didn't really pay too much attention last time. That. Let's do that. And then let's just do that. If we can get Orange Piccolo to go one more time... Uh, we should be looking pretty good here because obviously we've got another Piccolo as well. I'm sure that you can still use his active Go Giant form. It's not like a revive rent in where you can do it once, that's it. Uh, cool. Additionals. Very nice. So, to be fair, I do think the animations are pretty good. Like I said, let me know down below which LR you think is better for animations and also for usage as well. Uh, cause it, the 
depending on event, but so far Piccolo's the one that's looking a bit MVP, isn't he? Um, especially if you're up against, like, I don't know, Super Battle Road or something like that, which we can look at them in that if you do want to see it. Make sure to let me know down below. If you used them in Super Battle Road and turn into this th after three turns, uh, yeah, you're just going to be winning, aren't you? Right. Okay, so we've gone down. So we're not uh, Orange Piccolo anymore. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, what sort of defense we look? Piccolo is looking pretty good. I'm just going to use this just to um, put Piccolo there in the front. We will give you... Unfortunately, that... To get an Ultra Super off of you, I think. And then we'll do this. And then God Goku can just... Let's just give you... So, can't get enough rainbow orbs to get the full passive. So Piccolo here, uh, looking pretty good. Nice. Is that a 10 mil attack stat then? Special beam cannon, right to the nads. <laughs> they should have worked on that animation a little bit. Uh, is that level? This is going crazy now. This would be classed as fourth turn, I believe. Uh, Gohan's just going crazy again. And that's it. Okay. Um, all right. That was uh, very quick. Did I, I'm sure that was fourth turn. <laughs> we didn't even get to go to the other uh, Orange Piccolo. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's uh, collect our missions here. Very nice. I do need to work on the other ones if you want to see the video. Make sure to let me know. Uh, but yeah, that is basically them. They are absolutely demolished. That absolutely unreal. If you want to see more of these guys, which I'm probably going to do anyway because I want to see them in like other events and all that sort of stuff as well. But make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And for those of you who waited to the end as well, I didn't actually mention it at the start. But we're going to jump into the Piccolo banner just because I've got one more left on here. And I've got enough uh, Dragon Stones. Um, and I don't think I'm going to go as hard into the New Year's banner this year. Maybe one or two. Maybe one step overall for a video and that should be enough. That's what I think I'm going to do because I've done quite well throughout the year. Uh, we'll see. But basically the Dragon Ball Super Superhero units are the ones I want the most. So nonetheless, let's see. And we also get a free one after this as well. But yeah, let me know down below who you think's the best. Personally, for the Cell Max event, obviously it looks like Piccolo is just uh, dominant. But I think in longer events, well, even in longer events, Piccolo will be dominant with his defense and damage reduction and things. We saw him with almost 700k defense and he had 20% damage reduction. Gohan is just the damage uh, god by the looks of it because he was just throwing out lots of Let's keep going. Lots of damage there. Unreal. So it depends on what you want them for, really, doesn't it? But it's looking like Piccolo's the better one. And a lot of other people have been saying that as well. Ooh, okay. We are fusing, or whatever you want to call it, with that Piccolo-ing. Piccolo's coming in to help, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what we can finish up the video with. Hopefully, it is something pretty decent, like a Piccolo, maybe? It's the only sort of thing I really need on the banner, I think. Uh, let's see. So we got Symbol. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, okay, who I've got rainbow, so I don't need you. But we finish up on an LR, I guess. Is what it is. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.